Hi, it's Sherry. Welcome to Canterbury Cottage. I have so many fun and easy Valentine DIYs to share with you today. And they are all super budget friendly because they are made primarily from cardboard. Today's video is in collaboration with an amazing DIYer, Holly at Hot Humble Pie. Like me, Holly is a former teacher, and she is incredibly clever and creative, specializing in making beautiful home decor for as little money as possible. She is very popular with viewers. In fact, her Christmas compilation video has over half a million views. So when you're finished here, you definitely want to go over and check out Holly's channel for more Valentine DIYs. You'll be impressed at what she can do with a piece of cardboard. Well, I think I came up with some pretty cute ideas too. So let's get started. For this project, I used a cabinet door that I purchased at the Habitat ReStore for a dollar. I removed the hinges and then on the front side, I painted the inside panel with a couple coats of white chalk paint. I printed out an image of a tree silhouette on my printer and taped it to a piece of corrugated cardboard. And then I cut out the tree shape using a sharp X-Acto knife. I took my time going over each cut line three or four times before finally cutting out the entire tree shape. I cut a bit off of the bottom of the trunk so that the cardboard tree would fit perfectly in the door panel. I hot glued it in place, including a small branch that tore off when I was cutting the tree out. I tried using my Cricut machine to cut out some small hearts from a piece of cardboard taken from a cereal box, but my blade must have been dull because it didn't cut all the way through the cardboard, so I ended up having to cut the hearts out with scissors anyway. This next idea came from a sweet viewer named Christina Cleveland. I found adjectives in an old dictionary to describe my husband, and then I cut out those words and definitions and glued them to the cardboard hearts using glue stick. After trimming up the hearts, I glued them to the tree, sometimes using little squares of cardboard underneath to lift them up a bit. I marked the center along the top of the back of the door and then attached a sawtooth hanger. To clean up the back, I covered the hinge holes with some brown paper tape. I decided to add an additional quote, and so I tore a piece of paper from the dictionary that I had used and printed the quote on that paper so that it would match the hearts on the tree. I glued the dictionary paper to a piece of cardstock before running it through my printer. Then I glued the quote to a piece of cereal box, cut it in a nice rectangle, and glued it to the cabinet door. I love vintage Valentine images, and I've linked over 20 of them in the description box for you. I printed out a few of my favorites on cardstock, and then I glued them to thin cardboard like that found on cereal boxes. Then, going around the image, I cut out the cardboard. I used an X-Acto knife to get into small places. To create a stand for the Valentine, I glued two rectangles of the thin cardboard together. Then, using my X-Acto knife, I scored the cardboard about a half an inch from one end so that it would bend. I hot glued the section of cardboard above the score line to the back of the Valentine. 
For a different stand, you could hot glue a small craft stick to the back of your valentine. I went over mine with a piece of white duct tape for extra security. Wrap some pretty ribbon around an old spool and then attach the craft stick to the center of the spool with hot glue. To dress it up a bit, I applied Mod Podge to the red heart and then sprinkled on some red glitter. I also hot glued a small ribbon to the bunch of flowers. Here's another fun way to make use of the vintage Valentine images. Buy a few boxes of conversation hearts and then carefully open the bottom of each box and dump out the candy. Cut out a heart shape on the front or back of the box. I used an X-Acto knife to create a hole and then used a small pair of scissors to cut out the heart. Print out some of the vintage Valentine images in a small size and then glue it inside the box. Use a little hot glue to close up the bottom of the box again. Then comes the fun part. Embellish the box however you like. You might want to put rickrack, glitter, or a pipe cleaner around the heart opening. If you want to hang the box, Punch a small hole in the top and insert a piece of pipe cleaner or ribbon with a little hot glue. I just looked around my craft room for other little bits and baubles that I could add for embellishment. Because I loved the vintage Valentine images so much, I decided to make an entire wreath using them. I drew a circle shape on a piece of corrugated cardboard and then I cut the circle out using my X-Acto knife. Then I cut out the center of the circle with scissors, leaving a ring about a half an inch wide. Using some scrapbook paper that I had on hand, I cut out about 20 hearts, which I hot glued to the cardboard ring. I added additional hot glue on the back side for extra stability. I printed out about 20 vintage Valentine images and then cut the main image from each Valentine. I did this quickly. I wasn't trying to be perfect. I moved the vintage valentines around on the wreath until I was pleased with the arrangement, and then I hot glued them in place. I wish I had glued some of the valentines to pieces of cardboard to add a little more dimension to the wreath. I hot glued a pink velvet bow to the front and a loop of ribbon on the back to use for hanging. To draw a heart, fold a piece of paper in half, draw half of the heart, cut out the shape, unfold the paper, and perfect heart every time. For this next project, I cut a large heart shape from a piece of wrapping paper which I traced around onto two layers of corrugated cardboard. I cut out the two large cardboard hearts using an X-Acto knife and then I hot glued the cardboard hearts together. 
I found an old bedspread in my fabric stash and cut off a piece large enough to cover the heart. I just folded the edges over to the back and hot glued them in place. Tracing around the heart I had previously cut from wrapping paper, I cut a second heart from brown craft paper. I cut it slightly smaller and hot glued it to the back to give it a cleaner look. Then I cut a strip of binding off of the edge of the bedspread and hot glued it in two spots on the back to create a hanger for what was now a bulletin board. I wish I had added the hanger before the brown paper, but since I didn't, I just glued a couple little squares of the brown craft paper over the ends of the binding on the back. I cut a couple additional strips of fabric from the bedspread and then tied them on for a bow. Here is a fun, easy idea for creating a Valentine's garland. Pull out all of the hearts from a set of playing cards, and then cut each card into the shape of a heart. You can leave them plain or hot glue trim around the edge, like pipe cleaner or rickrack. Using an X-Acto knife, Make a small hole at the top of the heart and then run florist wire or ribbon or twine through the hole. Attach the hearts to a long piece of decorative rope or ribbon, evenly spacing the hearts out. I don't know why, but I have always found matchboxes to be cute, and so I like to find ways to incorporate them into DIY projects. For this project, I printed out some more vintage Valentine images, cut them out, and then used glue stick to apply them to the matchboxes. I also used some scrapbook paper that I had on hand. Once the matchbox was completely covered, I cut off the excess paper and tied a pretty bow around the box. I filled one of the boxes with some more of those cardboard hearts covered with dictionary paper. Cardboard makes a great base for a heart-shaped wreath. Simply trace out a heart shape onto your cardboard and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Then cut out the center of the heart, leaving about a fourth of an inch all the way around, just like we did with the round wreath. For this project, I hot glued on buttons, completely covering the cardboard wreath. To add extra stability, I hot glued pipe cleaners on the back of the cardboard. Then I printed out this Bible verse on a sheet of cardstock and used glue stick to apply it to the cardboard heart that I had previously cut from the center of the wreath. I hot glued rickrack around the edges of the heart and then I punched a small hole at the top of the heart and ran some baker's twine through the hole so that I could hang it in the center of the button wreath. I finished it off by hot gluing a few buttons next to the quote.
I cut out another cardboard heart-shaped wreath, only this time I covered it with yarn. I simply tied the end of the yarn to the bottom of the heart and began wrapping the yarn around the cardboard. Once the wreath was completely covered with yarn, I decided to hot glue a small stick across the heart to create a perch for a fake bird. I hot glued the bird to the stick and then I hot glued a little reindeer moss underneath the bird to hide the hot glue. I strung some letter beads to some florist wire to spell out the word love and then ran the florist wire across the top of the heart and hid it underneath the yarn on either side. I thought it needed some small flowers, so I glued these to the stick and the yarn on the back side of the wreath. To create a wall pocket, trace around a heart shape onto corrugated cardboard. Cut out the heart with your X-Acto knife or a pair of sharp scissors. Cut out a piece of fabric large enough to cover your heart. The fabric in this project is from Dollar Tree. Wrap the edges of the fabric around the heart and glue it to the back side. You may need to cut a slit at the top of the heart so the fabric will fit around the two curves. I reused the paper pattern that I had traced around to glue onto the back to give it a cleaner look. Using a coordinating fabric, I cut out a triangle which covered the bottom third of the heart. I folded the edges over and glued them to the back. This creates a pocket on the front, which I trimmed with a piece of rickrack, again gluing the edges around to the back side. I added some greenery and fake flowers and even some pillow stuffing to fill out the pocket. I punched two holes at the top of the heart using my X-Acto knife so that I could thread some twine through to create a hanger. I strung a few beads on the twine before I tied it off. If you've watched my channel before, there's one thing you know about me. I love books, so I couldn't do a Valentine video without making some little Valentine notebooks. Cut out a rectangle from some lightweight cardboard like a cereal box. Score it in the middle with an X-Acto knife so that it will easily fold in half. Cut a small heart out from some lined notebook paper and tape or glue it to the inside of the notebook. Drill a small hole through the cardboard at the end of each line. You may want to drill some additional holes at the top or bottom of the heart too. I cut out a small rectangle of scrapbook paper and used glue stick to attach it to the inside of the notebook to cover up the check's serial design. Then I threaded a large needle with some yarn and stitched through the holes that I had drilled in the cardboard. You could create whatever design you like. I kept mine simple and I tied off the ends of the yarn together when I was finished. I cut several pieces of plain paper to fit inside the notebook and ran hot glue along one of the long edges. I also ran hot glue in the fold of the notebook to hold the paper in place. I hot glued a small flower to the front of the notebook and I hot glued a couple pieces of ribbon to the inside of the front and back cover so that I could tie the notebook closed. 
You could also create a little notebook using two playing cards. This time, I hot glued a piece of ribbon along one of the long edges of the paper to create a binding. Then, I simply hot glued a playing card to the front and back sheets of the notebook. To make sure that everything stayed together, I glued a piece of ribbon over the binding and folded the edge and glued it to the front and back cards. Using my X-Acto knife, I scored on the inside of the front card near the binding so that the front cover would open easier. My thought was that I would write little love notes on each page of the notebook as a Valentine gift to my husband. For this beaded wreath, I cut one ring from a Dollar Tree wire wreath form using wire snips. After running beads on the wreath, I secured both ends by sticking them into one bead filled with super glue. I cut three cardboard hearts out from a Ziploc bag box. I covered the pattern side of the heart with scrapbook paper, but you could cover both sides if you wanted to. I punched a hole at the top of each cardboard heart so that I would be able to hang it from the bead wreath. Then I glued one end of a very long strand of yarn to the back of the heart and began wrapping it with yarn. You could cover the heart with as much or as little yarn as you like. Hot glue the other end to the back of the heart when you're done. Run a strand of yarn through the hole that you punched. Add beads or tassels if you like. Use different lengths of yarn for each of the hearts that you attach to the wreath. Tie the yarn in a knot between two of the beads. Add a ribbon if you like. I hope I was able to provide you with some Valentine inspiration today. My favorite projects were the Valentine tree and the upcycled sweetheart candy boxes. Don't forget to head over to Hot Humble Pie for more Valentine DIYs. I'll have Holly's channel linked in the description box or you can click on her icon in the upcoming closing screen. As always, thank you so very, very much for watching. See you next Tuesday. Bye-bye for now.